Hello, you're welcome to Medical Sciences by Naftali Muhumza. And today we are going to tackle ketogenesis. Previous video we looked at the absorption, we looked at the ligation, absorption and metabolism of lipids. In another part we have looked at beta oxidation, how free fatty acids are utilized in the body. And we saw the end result was acetyl-CoA. And this acetyl-CoA, apart from being used to provide energy in the Krebs cycle, we saw that the brain, like during starvation and the, and the controlled diabetes mellitus, we need the ketone bodies. We saw acetyl-CoA being channeled into what we call ketogenesis. That's why we are presenting to you today ketogenesis. And the ketogenesis, it is the two words which means ketone, keto from the word ketones, and genesis, that is the formation. So ketogenesis is the formation of ketone bodies. And how do we, for, what, what are these ketone bodies? Ketone bodies include, we are saying ketogenesis is formation of ketone bodies. And these ketone bodies, they are always three. We have acetone, which is volatile. We have acetoacetate, acetoacetate, and we have beta hydroxybutylate, butylate. These are the three ketone bodies. And these ketone bodies provide energy for the brain during starvation and during an controlled diabetes meritus. And how are they formed? First of all, we have to know where does this process occur? We must know what, then where. We have seen what, it is the formation of ketone bodies, and where does it occur? It occurs in the mitochondria. Mitochondria of liver cells. Because we see this ketogenesis occurs only in the liver. It occurs only in the liver, occurs in the liver, it occurs in the mitochondria of the liver cells. Mitochondria of liver cells. That is where it occurs. And what triggers it is the trigger factors. The trigger factor, we have starvation, not fasting, but starvation. Starvation, or you can call it prolonged fasting. And we can also see it happening in uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. So we have seen what is it, where does it occur, and what triggers it. The next step is seeing how does it occur. And this ketogenesis occurs through a series of steps in the mitochondrial matrix, whereby step number one in ketogenesis, we see two acetyl-CoA. We have one acetyl-CoA and the second acetyl-CoA. So the two acetyl-CoA within the mitochondrial matrix, they combine. And after combining, they form a product known as acetoacetate. They form acetoacetate. So this is the acetoacetate formed when the two molecules of acetyl-CoA combine. And this combination, it is called a condensation reaction, and the enzyme that catalyzes the combination of this is ketothiolase. Ketothiolase is the enzyme that is catalyzing the joining of two molecules of acetyl-CoA to form acetoacetate. And we see there is a loss of a CoA. There is a removal of one CoA, and that's why we are able to form acetoacetate. And this acetoacetate form, it undergoes another reaction. And this reaction, it requires an enzyme. Because we are forming, this reaction is called HMG-CoA. HMG-CoA. Or what you call HMG-CoA, is, it is written as beta hydroxy methyl glutyl coa I can write it here. Is beta hydroxy 
Misa yu. Grutala, grutala yu. Grutala yu. Ko e. Or which we normally abbreviate as HMG. Ko e. So we are seeing aceto. Acetate is being converted to HMG ko e by an enzyme known as HMG synthetase. So HMG synthase. HMG synthase is the one that is catalyzing the formation of HMG CoA. Whereby, if I have acetoacetate in the presence of HMG synthase, I'm able to form beta hydroxymethylglutalyl CoA. And after forming, how do we form this? We see another addition of acetyl CoA. So this synthase incorporates another acetyl CoA. There is addition of another acetyl CoA and we form HMG CoA in the presence of HMG synthase, which we are forming calling beta hydroxy glutalyl CoA. And after forming HMG CoA, this HMG for com CoA formed is converted into acetate, acetoacetate. Aceto acetate. This is acetoacetyl CoA. This one is called is called aceto acetyl CoA. So we have seen two molecules of acetyl CoA have combined to form acetoacetyl CoA which HMG synthase adds the co acetyl CoA, the, the third one, to form HMG CoA. And this HMG CoA is the one that is used by an enzyme known as HMG lyase. HMG lyase is the one that converts beta hydroxymethyl glutaryl CoA to form acetoacetate, which is the first ketone body to be formed. This is the first ketone body to be formed. And it is the one that is going to undergo cleavage to undergo cleavage to form MOA2. Whereby if I have acetoacetate, it is can be broken down by non-enzymatic reaction. It is broken down non, it is, this is a non-enzymatic enzymatic reaction. It is a non-enzymatic reaction and it involves the decarboxylation, whereby there is loss of carbon dioxide. So if I have acetoacetate and non-enzymatically there is decarboxylation, this process is known as decarboxylation, removal of carbon dioxide. And I am able to form a compound what is known as acetone. And this acetone is the second ketone body. And if I have acetoacetate, and I need to convert it into beta hydroxybutylate. I need NAD. This one is an enzymatic reaction whereby there is, it involves utilization of NAD H to form NAD plus. And this one happens in the presence of beta hydroxy. This compound is known as beta hydroxybutylate. And the enzyme is known as beta hydroxybutylate dehydrogenase. So this dehydrogenase enzyme is the one that is utilizing by, it is catalyzing this reaction by adding an H, by adding NAD H forming NAD plus, leading to formation of beta hydroxybutylate, which is the third ketone body. So we see these ketone bodies, whenever I have HMG CoA and the presence of HMG lyase, we form acetoacetate and non-enzymatic reaction with the decarboxylation, we form acetone. And this acetone is always the volatile. For it, it goes into the lungs and is breathed during expiration. But then the enzymatic reaction Involves NAD whereby acetoacetate 
is converted to beta hydroxybutyrate by beta hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase enzyme. So this is how ketogenesis occur. We have seen what it is. We have seen where it occurs in the mitochondria of river cells. We have seen the trigger factor that is starvation and diabetes and metastasis, which is uncontrolled. And we have seen we need the ketothiolase to combine the two molecules of acetyl-CoA with the cleavage of CoA to form acetoacetyl-CoA. Then this acetyl-CoA, which is formed in the presence of HMG synthase, we form HMG-CoA. And this HMG-CoA, there is, there is another addition of acetyl-CoA to form HMG-CoA, and the HMG-CoA, which is formed, is lysed, or it undergoes, it is broken down to form acetoacetate, which is the first ketone body. You can, in, in the presence of this dehydrogenase enzyme and the edge, we form beta hydroxybutyrate which is a good energy provider of brain during starvation. Oh, it can undergo non-enzymatically by decarboxylation to form acetone. And those are the three ketone bodies formed in the body. Dear listeners, as you continue to enjoy this lecture, please make sure to subscribe. Subscribe and give your comment and like the video so that you can all